Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Lucas Vasquez card to review today. I'm sorry that these reviews are late. The servers literally kicked me out six different times to try to build the squads for these guys, but it is what it is. Uh, with Lucas Vasquez, guys, this card, uh, you know, versatile monster, okay? That's what it is. Because the reason why I am giving him the shadow chemistry styles, because listen, he has an average body type. So by default, a card like this that has defensive stats, you want to use him mainly in the midfield positions or the defensive positions. OK, let's just say, for instance, you want to line him up in like a four or five one. He's playing as your right winger and you have like a right back cap of getting linked to him and you want to play like a three, five, two system. Boom. This is your type of card to have in your team. Someone who can attack and defend has the five foot eight height, high medium work rates, right footed four star skills with a four star weak foot in game player trait, speed dribbler trait, but in game attributes. Take a look at this card, okay? The attack for the finishing, sure. Don't get me wrong, if you want to use the card on the attack, you definitely could. You give him a Hunter Chemistry style, the pace, the shooting. But that's not going to be the main reason you unlock a card like this for your team, unless you're, you know, trying to have fun with the card in your team. Because on a Shadow Chemistry style, guys, he's going to be working with a 99 acceleration with 98 for sprint speed, which is incredible. His shooting stats for a midfielder, right, or a fullback, or a person in a 3-5-2, is still pretty solid. Maybe if you play in that 352, it would actually be better to give him either the Hawk chemistry style or the Hunter chemistry style because he has some defensive capabilities. But I just want to see what he's like on the shadow chemistry style to kind of test out certain defensive animations and whatnot and get him to into some attacking opportunities, right? 83 attacking positioning while being a high medium work rate player is going to be interesting to work with. Base card stats for passing with the four star weak foot. 78 composure is low, but again, it's not a card that I want to use in the main attacking positions. It is a card that I want to get to be able to rotate him in the team. You know, if I want to use a 4-2-3-1 and I want to make him my more attacking oriented midfielder, boom, I can do that. 3-5-2, I can do that. Play him as a right wing back and a five at the back. I can do that. Like that's the type of card that Vasquez is. Very similar to the Gozens card, right? Like I tried Gozens as a left back to kind of test him out attacking and defensive wise, but you guys get what I'm saying. Base card stats for dribbling with the average body type. We will be experimenting with in game. We're going to be using him in the striker position to kind of test out his attack whenever he does get into those situations. Uh, base card stats for defending also set up really nicely for this car because when you give him that shadow chemistry style, look at his defensive stats, right? So the thing is, is that a card like this, you know, let's just say, for instance, you want to line him up in like a 4 4 2, right? The high medium work rate is cool to work with because it actually makes a card more unique, right? You know that he's gonna be a little bit more attacking oriented, but because of his super high pace, you know that he's also he's also gonna offer you a defensive support too. And then last but not least for physical, he has 76 for aggression. So if you wanna give him an anchor, you totally could to boost that up while giving him 96 for stamina. So a card like this, guys, there's no right or wrong chemistry style, I don't think, but we will be trying him out to the shadow to see what's up with him in game. So. We'll be using him up top in the striker position, guys. But as the review progresses, I'll be rotating him into the midfield position to test him out and see what he's like playing in that midfield area. So we'll do the review for him. We'll do the review for Kondogbia. Both of the reviews will be on the channel. So be sure to watch out for that. Let's go check him out. Oh, almost. Little shield. Get the ball here. Good. I love testing out the dribbling. Guys, listen. For an attacker, like I said, you don't want to have dribbling like that. I could have totally shot that, by the ways. But I wanted to show you guys what his dribbling is going to be like under pressure as a midfielder more than anything. And then what a goal. <laughs> he tries to use offside trap right there, and it actually works out really well for us. Good. Good dribbling there. Great pass by Kondogbia. Good little finish there with Kareem Benzema. Good stuff. Uh, Lucas Vasquez with some defensive presence, eh? I like it. I like it, Vasquez. I'm going to force you right here, actually. Get the one time pass. Benzema's passing is not great, guys, like I just mentioned in the review. So if that passing was good, it would have been solid there.
So we do get the shot blocked right there. But you could see that Lucas Vasquez with his high medium work rates will be an attacking oriented player. Like he's definitely acting like a high medium in that striker area. It's when you get to these positions here, you see? Uh, shoot. Oh, we're good. Try to get a near post strike there. Get the ball in the air. First time. Tracks back well. So, again, for a person that you're going to want to dribble with, right? For a midfielder, that dribbling is not bad, guys. For a main attacker, yeah, you want to improve it a little bit, you know? Beauty! Love that play. Lucas Vasquez, well positioned. Great goal. Oh, it was on target, though, eh? Did the tackle off, maybe? Oh. I had a feeling he's going to make that first time pass, so. White time shot on that, too. I don't have any shooting stats on it, eh? Just, let you, just to let you know. Listen, high medium work rates, man. Yeah, so right there, I try to go for like a first time driven pass. Didn't work out, but... Dude, his high medium work rate is super noticeable, man. It's like a unique thing to have if you actually use him as a midfielder. Shoot across. Let's go, Vasquez. Let's go. Great finish right there. Nice. To be fair, though, guys, if you really care about, like, boosting his shooting as much as possible, it could actually be really ideal to... Uh, Maybe give him a, a chemistry style that actually boosts that as well, since his base card stats for defending is already there. Legrand switch. Get the header off. Just spam it. There you go. Good last second touch. I don't think it actually counted as a foul there for Lucas. Oh, the pass with Lucas Vasquez was good, man. It was good. Oh, if it went around him. I do feel like the biggest reason you would unlock a Lucas Vasquez card in your team is for you to use a 3-5-2 or a 5 at the back. I do think that that would be the main reasons because if you have a card like this on a Hunter chemistry style that can score, right? But he's in the side positions that can both attack and defend with a 4-star, four 4-star four capability... I think that'd be incredible to work with. Nice, good defensive play. Didn't receive the ball, but gonna hold out trigger there. That pace to work with in the midfield is nice though, guys. Hey, well, well positioned for the interception there. Let's go, Kondogbia. Pass it off, pass it off, pass it off. Yes, use that reach. Lucas. But white. Oh, maybe if I hit it in the green, though. Maybe. It wouldn't be a bad uh, decision to give him an engine chemistry style if you use him in the middle, actually. Someone who has some defensive stats, but you can actually improve the dribbling a little bit because the dribbling can be rough to work with sometimes. And that's why sometimes you just force different animations, guys, because sometimes you get lucky. Ah, I did the double ball roll properly, but the left stick touch afterwards, I didn't. You see, Lucas Vasquez is running really quickly back into the midfield position there. That's going to be a foul, yeah. Bait the roulette there like crazy, eh? Your post? Oh, Chong gets it. Hey, nothing here. Pretty quick. See, even if he's your attacking oriented CDM, he'll still track back pretty quickly. And if you have that shadow chemistry style for the extra acceleration and sprint speed, it's cool, man. It's just like an extra variable in the attack to work with, which can be very helpful, of course. Oh, enough pressure. Crazy acceleration and sprint speed to get that. 
Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Lucas Vasquez card. So this card has a lot of dislikes on Footbin, but guys, you unlock a card like this because of how you want to play him in your team, depending on how you actually play FIFA. Because if you're the type of guy, right, that likes to rotate formations as the game is being played, or, you know, you want to unlock him because you want to play that five at the back formation, that three at the back formation, uh, a formation where you're using him as one of your center mids in a 4-1-2-1-2, or you're using him as your CDM, as an attacking-oriented player. Cards like this exist, guys, to be that versatile player, right? Now, in regards to the chemistry styles, we gave him the shadow chemistry style because he wanted to test out what the card was going to be like with the pace that he has as well as the defensive stats, right? So for a midfielder, guys, the shooting is great to work with, okay? Because most of the opportunities that you get yourself into, especially with his case where he's a high medium worker to player, you kind of go for like those first time shots if he ever finds himself inside the 18 yard box. But even if he does, guys, for a midfielder, the shooting stats are actually set up really nicely. But here's the thing. You don't have to give him a shadow chemistry style. You can actually give him a hunter chemistry style, boost his shooting as much as possible while giving him the pace, but you still have defensive capabilities. In this case, guys, I would say that if you were going to do this, it's because you want to line him up mainly in a 3-5-2 formation because with the 3-5-2 formation, it's very important to have players that can attack and defend. In his case, with his high medium work rates, his 96 stamina, it's a cool card to get to be able to play in those positions, right? But then let's just say, for instance, again, you want to keep rotating your team all the time, all the time. You already have that one medium high worker to player in your midfield position. You want a little bit of an extra attacking presence. You get a card like this on a shadow chemistry style with a high medium work rates, and he'll offer you that extra attack. The things that you notice with the Lucas Vasquez card is two things, okay? So obviously, because of the high medium work rates, it makes him unique. It's a similar situation to Lorente's card. Uh, even though Lorente is a card that is 16k, he's still one of the most meta midfielders in the game, in my opinion. You can use him on 8 chemistry and the cards of Beast because the work rates that he has to work with, the 4-star weak foot, it makes those cards unique in the midfield position because they're cards that can attack and defend for you. But you know that they're going to offer a great attacking presence because of that high medium work rates, right? So it's a very interesting thing to work with, in my opinion, especially for a card like this that you can pretty much line up in so many different ways. Because if we're gonna be taking a look, guys, because this is this is how you have to see an SBC like this, okay? You have to see it from a person who is, we can, we can even search a midfielder, an attacker. Let, let's just search an attacker, right? If we search the attackers and we search someone that has defensive stats as an attacker, you're gonna get a legend and then Lucas Vasquez is gonna be right there, right? Paqueta, a midfielder, Nkunku, to be fair, it can be used in the size, but he has a medium, medium work rate. Um, you know, Cornet. Cornet is a, another card you can use as a player like that, but obviously his stats are a little bit lower. So look at the rest of the cards. It's silvers and stuff, right? There's nothing else to work with. And Lucas Vasquez is not a hard card to link because, guys, if you lined him up in a 4-5-1 and you have that Kappa card in the team, because, guys, this Kappa card, listen, the Kappa card right here, this guy, I didn't do a review for him, okay? But this Rule Breakers Kappa card is actually pretty solid. Why? Five foot nine and a stocky body type. So that in the defensive positions with high, high work rates, if I want to rotate him into a three at the back formation and play him as a right center back, I totally could, right? Because Vasquez will be the guy that I'll play in that right mid position for that three, five, two, right? And that's just an easy little four, five, one setup. One little direct link, boom, you can rotate him into whatever position you want to put him in and make the other players in your team mainly attackers. Put Carrasco in there, put Bamba in there. The middle guys can all be attackers with like one CDM. Like maybe you have like a Shua Mane in there or you have another medium high worker player like Verratti getting links to Kembempe and Marquinhos. So that's why you unlock an SBC like this, right? That's the only reason. If you don't plan on using Vasquez in that way, then obviously don't do the SBC. But guys... He is one of the few players that is in a certain position that can play in a lot of positions. He's not going to be a crazy CDM. You know, he's not going to be like a guy that actually feels like a CDM there. But that's why he is the way that he is. With the high medium work rates, the high, the high medium work rates, the high stamina, the shadow chemistry saw giving him that extra defense while giving him pace, making him a well-rounded card. You can't go wrong. For 100k, it's not a bad SBC. I think people are downgrading this because they probably don't, really see it in that way like if you look at the card and you see right winger they're like oh it's an attacker but it's a card that you're rotating in your team if you actually use them so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys